In this lesson, we're going to uh, talk about and do three examples of calculating the surface area of 3D objects. So let's look at this first example. Before we do, we want to remember from previous lessons, we've talked about the idea that to calculate the area of, that we need to calculate the area of each face, then add them together to find the total surface area of an object. And so for this first object, we're going to calculate the bottom, the top, the sides, every, 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 uh, the ends, every part of it. Um, let's just sort of label, do some labeling here first though. Uh, this uh, sort of yellow outline part, we can, we can call this the front. The front of this sort of house shape type, type uh, object. And uh, the front of this thing, uh, to calculate the area of the front, we need to calculate the area of two different shapes, a triangle shape and a rectangle shape. And so what we need to do here is we need to uh, get those dimensions and, and calculate that. So first of all, let's talk about the front. And uh, we have two parts. We have A part and we have B part. So A is the triangle. Okay, so let's just do A. And that's going to be a triangle shape. So the area, so the area uh, equals base times height over 2. Okay, so let's just uh, look at that here. Base times height over 2. The base of this thing is 5. And the height of it, we see on the side there, is 4. And we're going to put it over 2. So 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 2 is 10 square meters for the area of the triangle part. Now what about the B part? Well B part is a rectangular shape and so the area of that is going to be length times width. And the length and the width of that thing, well let's just take a look at this here. We've got, uh, well, this side here has to be 4 because that's the parallel to that side over there and this side's 4 here. And of course, the bottom's five, same as the top of that thing. And um, let's label these other sides while we're at it. So this side here is 10. Here is 10. This is 10. They're all parallel, those three sides. So that should give us most of the distances we need. So let's go back to our, our rectangle at the front here. The rectangle at the front is 5 by 4. So length times width is 20 square meters. So the whole front of this thing is going to be 10 plus 20 is 30 square meters or 30 meters squared. That's the front. Okay, any other size that are similar to the front? Well, if you look, think, think, uh, you know, logically about this, we figured, hey, the front of it is the same as the back. So the back of this thing is the same as the front. So the back also has a triangle part, has a rectangle part. And so in this case here, the back, the area is going to be equal to the same as the front. It's just the exact same dimensions and shape. Hmm, convenient. We just got to calculate that one calculation for the front, and we've got the back at the same time. Okay, let's move on and do one of the sides here. Well, we're just going to take this side here. This side here we'll call the right side. And it's made up of two rectangles, the slope part and the straight up and down part, almost like part of the roof and part of the side. So let's do the, um, the right side. We'll call it the right. And the right side has two parts. So it has, say, we'll call it D and E. OK. And so um, just pick a couple letters there. So the right side we have uh, D, which is a rectangle, and we have E, which is a rectangle. And so in both cases, area equals length times width. Okay. And so the uh, let's look at D. What's the length of D? Well, the D is 10. Length is 10. And the other dimension there is 3. 
which gives me 30 meters squared. Actually, I shouldn't. Let's not. Um, okay. Well, yeah, let's do that then. Okay, and the uh, and the other side here, the uh, is going to be what that Frank does is going to be 10 by 4, so 10 length 4, and it gives me 40 meters squared. So that's the the blue is the is the right side. Uh, okay, which is the same as now if I think about this, that's going to be the same as the left side which is the other part of the sloped roof and the other side there. So the left side is is going to be um, equal to the right. Okay, so in other words, the area equals, and we'll go here and put, that's going to be 30 and 40 is 70, because it's the same as the two blue numbers together there, right? Now, uh, have we got it all done? No, not quite. We've got the bottom. And so let's do the bottom here. And let's just see, let's put a little arrow here. We're going to talk about the bottom now. And that gives us all sides. The bottom, that's going to be a rectangle as well. And so that's going to be uh, area equals length times width, which is going to be 10 length of 10 and the width of 5. 10 times 5 which equals 50 square meters. So that's all the sides right there. So if I'm going to take and I'm going to add all of these things up here. Okay, let's put all those things together here. And I'm going to get uh, 200 and 50 square meters when I add that together. Put a little bit more there. Okay, there we go. So there is our, our first example. Okay, let's move on now to the second example. The second example here, I'm not going to, uh, there's two ways to do this. You could actually do the, every little face on this thing and add them all up for the surface area, the areas. Now some of the shapes, some of the faces are going to be uh, L-shaped type faces, etc. But um, let's just uh, think about this. This is a, a uh, rectangular shaped three-dimensional object with a chunk cut out of it. So this, this here, this yellow part, is where the chunks cut out. Well, if I, find the, if I take the top of this thing, okay, and I, uh, and I add the... the uh, part to it. So if I take this here, let's just call it A, and we take this part here, call it B, what does that look like if I look from, from, the, from the above, say, if that's the top of it? It's going to kind of visualize this. It's supposed to be a 3D object. It's not always easy to... Okay, so it's something like this. It's a an L-shaped sort of thing. It's like a hockey stick. With a chunk cut out, but if I take and put the that's the A. If I put the B, add the B onto it here. Just look at the B shape here. Hey, this is a rectangle, which is the same as the bottom. So if this is the if this is the top, A and B, that's that's equal to the bottom. And uh, the bottom of this thing, well, the bottom is going to be 10. This distance is 6. This distance here is 8. Um, the, the bottom and the top are the exact same area then. If I just take B and A and put them together, and the simplest way to do this is not do every little face, but just do the bottom. So the bottom is going to be equal to a rectangle. Right, just put a little rectangle shape here, and that's going to be equal, the area is equal to length times width, which is equal to six times ten, which equals sixty, and which is the same as the top. The top is also sixty, and that's centimeters squared or square centimeters. Okay, 
Well, what about the uh, what about the uh, uh, say the the front? We'll take a look at the or the front and back of this thing. If this is the front, okay, and this here was the top, okay. Uh, the front is this thing is is basically the same as the as the back, and that's six by eight. So let's do the the back. Well, especially if I take the front, sorry, I should, she almost forgot this. If I take, this is C and this is D, C and D together, if you actually look from that side, make like a rectangle, which is six by eight. If you add those two, two rectangles together. So the back is six, is also a rectangle, and the area equals length times width, which is six times eight, which is 48. And the front is the same as the back. And so that's also equal to 48. It's a matter of just looking at it carefully. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the side here. I don't know what you call it. Maybe that's the front. I don't know what. We're going to talk about this side here. We'll call it, uh, so it's CD. We'll call this E. And we'll call this part F. E and F, if you look from that, if you look right at that from the side, it'll be the same as this. So if this is the right side, we'll call this other part back here the left side. So the left and right will, will actually be the same. When you put F and E together, that's the same as the left side. And what are the dimensions of the left side? The left side, again, is a rectangle and area length times width, which is, uh, that's going to be 8 by 10. Okay, or 10 by 8, same thing. And therefore, the right is going to be the exact, it's the same shape, same size, and it's going to be equal to 80 as well. Well, that's the easiest way to do it. Just do three calculations, double them and add them together. Put these together, I get what, 16, carry the 1, uh, 12, 13, 17, 21, 29, 376 centimeters squared, I believe. And that's the answer to the surface here of that shape. Uh, just try to make it a little bit simpler. Okay, brings us to the last. Now here we have something. Uh, this is an object. Let me just clarify here. Uh, maybe we should do this. That this is like an object that has a hole through the middle of it. Okay. And so we're just going to draw this in to kind of make it look a little bit more representative of what it, what's actually going on there. So something like this, put dash lines as a hole right through the middle of this thing. Okay, well it's probably not, actually let's just do a little bit of that. Try to draw, I'm not a very good artist here as you can tell, but I'm doing my best. So here we go, a hole through that thing. And so we need to find the surface area. Let's just do the outside, not the inside of the whole part, but let's do the outside of this thing. And um, first off, we need to uh, find out uh, some surface area of the side. So here we've got, let's just start off here with A, the outside of this one. Then we do the outside of this one, which is B. Okay. And so we've got this curved shape. Now, what we need to do here is the outside area of a, uh, uh, like a cylinder shape is just the circumference of the circle, which gives the distance around, times the, the, uh, the height. And I know in class I explained this in some more detail with the objects and that, but um, so let's just figure that. So the area of A is going to be 
two pi, which is circumference. All right, we need to know the circumference is two pi r times the height. And so we've got this, the area of this thing then is going to be two times 3.14 times the radius. What's the radius of that big circle? Well, the radius equals the diameter over 2, which equals 8 over 2, which is equal to 4 meters here, okay? So the, the, uh, the radius is 4, and the height of this thing is, this part of it is 8. So we're going to multiply those together to uh, get that. Okay, so the answer to that, and if you use a calculator and figure that out, we're going to get an answer of about, uh, be, rounds off to 201 uh, square meters. Okay, well, what about the, uh, the, let's just change colors here and put B in green here. What about the area of B? Well, that's also equal to the same. 2 times 2.14, except the radius of this thing is half of 4, which is 2. The height of it is also 8. And the answer to that is going to be round off to 100 square meters, which leaves us uh, the, uh, the edges. We've got C. We've got this little edge here, D. And then we've got the bottom of this thing, which is E. Well, if you look from the top, if you look from the top of this thing, you're going to notice that uh, we only have two circles like this, and you're going to have another. So what this is going to be is, is you're going to be, this is going to be C and D with a hole in the middle of it. And the bottom will actually be just a hole in the middle of it as well, the same outside dimension with a hole in the middle of it. So I calculate the bottom, that's going to be the same as the top, C and D put together. So that's all I need to do. Calculate the area of that. Well, how do I find the area of that? Well, let's just um, let's just take that. We'll just change color here. C, D. So let's just do either. Let's just do the area of the bottom. The area of the bottom is just the outer circle, the area, area of the big circle, minus the area of the little circle. So when I find the area of the big circle, well, the area of the circle is pi r squared. So we're going to call it r b. So that means just the big, big radius squared minus the area of the small r s, or small circle squared. And let's just find the area of the big circle and that's going to be pi times 4 squared minus pi times 2 squared. So this is going to round off to about 50 minus 13 which gives me 37 meters squared. So the bottom is 37. The top is going to be exactly the same. The top equals 37. So if I add those numbers together, if I take, just uh, rewrite this, if I take 201, 100, 37, and 37, that is going to give me my total surface area of the outside of this thing, which ends up being 0.5. 15 carry the 1, 7, and 375 square meters. And there's our answer. There's three examples that can help you understand how to calculate total surface area.